I'm Ashi, I'm uh, 34, and uh, I am actually really new to, uh, to Bethel. I've only been here about 10 months. Actually coming here ended up becoming the best thing in my life. Um, it was legitimately a gift from God, and I'm uh, really grateful. I work as an attorney in the city of Philadelphia um, in my spare time. I volunteer at a bunch of clinics and nonprofits. So even though I was born in the U.S., I, I grew up in India, and I mean, as you know, you, you've heard from uh, many people who visited there. It's a it's a polytheistic uh, nation. It's um, where there's every different region in the country has got their own uh, deity that they follow. And just one of the things that was always very off-putting to me was. Um, that people treated idols better than they treated each other. Like for example, I've, you know, and this might sound weird, but I've seen people put like thousands of dollars of jewelry on an idol, but not have money to give to a person who might be, um, you know, just starving. Growing up in that kind of environment it just didn't make sense to me. Um, and there's just, I kept, you know, I grew up thinking, God couldn't possibly want that. That possibly couldn't be what God wants out of us. And so it kind of just turned away from religion. And um, I, I did always, uh, growing up, the one thing I was 100% sure on is there is a God, um, and He is looking out for me. One of the problems with that was, uh, you know, I am. Um, wasn't always acknowledging him. I wasn't always um, giving credit where credit was due. Mm -hmm. I basically uh, had that mindset of um, as long as I was a decent person, as long as I was a moral person, if you will, as long as I um, did the right thing, or at least what I thought was the right thing, I was good enough. But <clears throat> eventually what I ended up learning was what I considered to be the mor a moral life was A, incredibly narcissistic, and B, um, you don't realize how wrong you are when, you're when you think you're doing the right thing. I was very lucky. Um, one, of one of my really close friends who um, raised by God in the halls of Bethel, um, she cared more about my salvation than at the time I knew I did. And she took time to, uh, you know, um, talk to me. She was really uh, polite and she was like, look, I just, you know, um, just, this is what I, this is what I believe, this is what um, uh, the Bible says, um, you should take a look at it. And it was just one of those things that you just, you felt so, it felt so awesome to have somebody care about you like that, that I actually went home and studied it. I had asked her, you know, hey, um, would it be okay if I came to church with you? And at Bethel, we just started the Belief Series, and I think it was just the perfect time um, for me to come here. Just, it's amazing how God works and how, how incredibly strategic and how precise His plan is, um, because that was exactly what I needed at that time. And ever since then, you know, it's just, it's been awesome because so many people from Bethel have taken time and invested in me and in, in, in my maturity and in my, um, in my salvation. And basically the way I saw it was, God was calling me and saying, look, you're gonna come to me, but I'm gonna put all these road signs in your way. We're gonna point you in the right direction. Mm -hmm. And that's what a lot of these, a lot of folks about the work, where they were those road signs that were like, go that way. And eventually it led me to, uh, you know, um, accepting Christ as my uh, Lord and Savior. After I knew I had accepted Christ, and after I just felt that overwhelming relief and that overwhelming joy and that peace, you start thinking back and, and, and things that have happened in life, and you realize how 34 years of existence has led to this moment. You know, it's not something that I can just say, nope, it was this date at this time, it was 34 years, you learned, you screwed up, you learned, you screwed up, you learned, you screwed up, and finally you're like, yeah, I'm a screw up, and I, and I need Christ. 
I, I need them in my life. I mean, it's, it's just the most awesome gift, right? And you want to share that with as many people as possible. I mean, think of uh, what we do when we get a new piece of technology or we get a new car. Like, you want to share with every person you know. And, you know, like, I just, I, this, this gift that I got, you know, I just, yeah, you want to be out on the rooftop shouting it out to everybody who will listen. Um, but now, but by getting baptized, um, you know, I, I, I make, I want to make a, public declaration of my faith. And it's a promise to um, the people who, you know, shared this journey with me um, that um, I, I want to take the message of Christ and teach it to as many people as I can. Just And not teach it, but share it with as many people as I can. And at the same time, um, I appreciate the accountability. You know, like I do, I do hope that each and every person um, listening to this helps hold me accountable for it. Um, that if I get complacent in my faith, um, if I get complacent in uh, my ministry, that they come and uh, they talk to me.